Good afternoon, dear California Seismic Lab friends. Well, one of the most asked questions here at California... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Good afternoon, dear California Seismic Lab friends. We are looking at an earthquake, or two as a matter of fact. And one of the most asked questions here, when a lot of earthquakes or bigger earthquakes happen across the world, are there more than normal? Is this unusual? And that's a fair question. So today we're going to take you and show you if indeed there is an uptick of bigger earthquakes. So as a matter of fact, we have two of uh, you know, sizable earthquakes today. And let's look at the facts of these earthquakes together. Now the first one that uh, happened was actually the quake you see here in the Missouri e-graph. It's showing up as a nice little blip. And that's a 6.9 that happened in Alaska. And if you go to the Missouri one, the next one we see in uh, Missouri occurring is the 7.3 earthquake here in Haiti this morning. And that's showing up as a nice graph. Now, these two earthquakes are sizable earthquakes. One is 6.9, the other one is 7.3. And that's when we need a map like this. And this map is going to show us a couple of things. Because this is a great map to take you to and to explain if earthquakes are in an uptick or not. Now let me start with this. One of the things we noticed for a long time already have known is that earthquakes tend to group in certain areas or certain time frames in packs in, in moments of time that we say, hey, there's indeed a, a bunch more earthquakes here than you know other years maybe. It does happen, especially when they're larger than you have a lot of aftershocks, so long aftershock trains. But the question is, we see in the last week four major quakes happening. And is this in an overall an uptick of big earthquakes across the world? Here's the 7.2. As a matter of fact, they downgraded by 0.1. And what we're doing at this map, I'll put this in the bottom here. Go to this map yourself because I want you to get familiar with this and be able to use it. At this map, there is a little, little gear here that you can push and that brings down a table with short earthquake catalog here on the bottom. When you tap on there, you get a different uh, menu where you can choose magnitude, date, time and a geographic region. Now. What you want to do is say, we want to look for, you know, the average big earthquakes in a given year. Well, we'll do this in the following way. We'll do this very simple. We'll say, okay, anything above a seven is a major earthquake, as you know, especially if it is by a populated area. And the next thing we'll say is we'll do custom here and we'll pick the years. We'll just start with back in 19, let's do 1999. When you search this, now you have between 1999 and 2000, 19 large quakes. Let's say the largest first, you can choose that here by sort, largest first. So 7.9 was the largest quake in that time of 12 months. Okay, with that said, let's look at more of the data and see if we can find other really outstanding craziness in here maybe somewhere. Okay. Let's look in 10 year periods now. Let's divide this century up in decades. And let's look at decades at the time. You know, let's make it stat. You know, we'll, we'll put this up on the stat. Okay, here we go. We got a spreadsheet. We can work on this. We'll start on the top and we'll call this first column. And we'll write in here the years. Next column, we'll call that total earthquakes. We go from 1920 to 1930. <laughs> Total earthquakes are there. Well, let's find out. Modify search 1920 to 1930. And what will that give us? It gives us seven earthquakes in this first decade between the 20s and the 30s. So let's uh, input that data. Seven quakes here. Seven above an eight. Okay, so now we know that this is. Uh, we'll copy this real quick. Okay, we got this taken care of. Let's look at our next set, the 30s, 40s, and find our total number there, which is only six quakes. So we're only one less in that decade. Only one less in that decade. Next. We're almost there, guys. Stick with me. 2010. Modify search. 2010. Then we'll give that a number of 13. That's the highest yet. That is... So between 2000 and 2010, that decade had not double yet still. Still not... It still didn't double. But we could say that's an uptick there. 
13 quakes there. Big number. It's the biggest yet. So from 10 to 20, our last decade that we just passed here. And uh, results, here we are, 11, 11. Well, there's your answer. So the question is, do we have an uptick in the last decade? Not, definitely not. One more uh, quick one. We'll do then from the last year. Okay, so we do 2020 to 2021. Compare this last year to all this rest that we have. So here we go, 2020 to 2021 and see what we got there. From January 2020 to January 2021. You sh your shirt had zero results. You can ref Oh, ha, there we go. It's a zero result. And that is because the last eights that we saw were particularly in 2021. They were not between. So they were zero. So we modify that shirt. So in other words, we can add this number though as it, this being zero, and now we have one more check. What do we have in 2021 up to today's date? And we should have a couple, because yes, we did by New Zealand, this is South Samuels Island just a couple of days ago, and this is a couple of weeks ago, and there we go. Yeah, well, here we go, yeah. And that those are the eight and higher. So we, So do we have an uptick at the moment? This isn't just the last six months. Well, maybe you guys have a point here. <laughs> maybe we found something. This is pretty significant. In six months time, we see three earthquakes of an 8.0 or higher. That's interesting, to say the least. Wow. That's nice to find, isn't it? That's a cool, cool little treasure right there. So, can we say we have an uptick? of major earthquakes in the last six months in compared to what we see in the decades and century before in time. I think we might have something here. I think we might answer to that at this moment. Yes, we do have somewhat of a show of an uptick of major earthquakes in the world. Wow, I actually, I'm stunned. I, I'm kind of stunned to find it out this way. Because he knew we had a couple large earthquakes, but in its total picture, I didn't think so. Well, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. One thing we need to look at more, and that is how does this add up, these three extra months, how do they add up to this last decade? So what was this last decade? I can tell you it was 11 because I remember. So 11 plus 3 makes what? 14. Which is not even the highest in the decades we have seen. No, sorry. That is kind of high, isn't it? Because the largest was 13. So up till now, you could actually conclude that maybe this is the largest uptick that we have seen in, the, in all of scientific uh, seismology history. That we can definitely say this is the highest decade that we have ultimately discovered right now. With three of them being in just the last six months that are 8.0 or higher. Wow, this is... It's pretty interesting. I am actually, in a way, surprising myself here. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Let's go look at this. We'll put this here. This one is 3. And we add this 3 to the 11 is 14. And the highest number we have seen is 13 right here in that decade. Between 2000 and 2010 was the decade of the highest. And thus, what shall I say? At least... I say, peace be with you. It's interesting. I love it. It's great. This is a great find. You know, you know guys, this, this, is, this, is, this is the excitement of uh, seismology. It really is. It's exciting to find things. Like I find these triggered earthquakes, it's exciting to find this stuff because it tells you so much about, you know, facts of seismology. Okay. And there is our finished product of all these decades. This is a beautiful little view of how to see if we have a huge uptick of earthquakes, of, of major earthquakes. So hang tight with Colorful Insights we have. I enjoy that you're here. I hope you enjoy us. Stick around and we'll see more happening in the near future. God bless. If you uh, enjoy our channel, if you enjoy our 
videos, then please subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be updated whenever we bring out a new video. And give us a thumbs up. That is always very helpful. You can also help us financially by subscribing to Patreon. Patreon website is underneath our website, but you can also ask the mods. We greatly appreciate your time and your uh, interest in our channel. Have a great afternoon. We enjoy having you here at California Seismograph and we'll hope to see you soon again. God bless.